Hi, hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Carola, and I'm so glad that you're here. In my first video, I talked about my 2021 planner and journal stack and what I use each notebook for. And then I thought, why not do a deep dive into the planner brands that I use and um, share my experience with them as well as some of the features that really stood out for me this year. And hopefully that helps you figure out your planner lineup for 2022. And so welcome to my planner series where I talk about the planner brands that I use and highlight some of their key features. In this video, I'll talk about Hobonichi specifically and why I love their planners so much. If you enjoy this content, then please like and or subscribe and that's my spiel, so let's dive right in. So generally speaking, what attracted me to Hobonichi planners in the first place, and probably what attracts most people to them, is the lightness and thinness of their paper. Hobonichi uses Tomoe River paper, which is 52 GSM. But the way it's manufactured and coated, it's actually very fountain pen friendly. And you can use fountain pens, inks, markers, even watercolor on them and it won't bleed through to the next page which is amazing. So later on in this video I'll talk a little bit about the fountain pens and um, inks that I've tried on this paper and how they held up to ghosting and bleeding. So let's start by taking a closer look at the Hobonichi weeks. This year for 2021 I used two of the weeks. Each year, Hobonichi releases unique designs for their covers, and this year I chose the Swallows and the Sesame Street themed covers. The fabric on the covers are an amazing texture. They feel like um, necktie fabric, and um, I used cover on cover for each of the books just to protect the fabric because I didn't want to ruin them. What stands out on the weeks is the size of it. It's wallet size, it's very compact and thin. You can throw it into your bag and have it as a you know to-go book. Keep lists in there and um, appointments and schedules. The layout of the weeks is the week on the left hand side um, with daily sections. And then on the right hand side is just graph ruled memo pages and you can use that page for journaling or just taking lists every day, um, whatever you sort of need from this book. It also includes a monthly layout in the front of the book, which is super handy to have just as a glance. In the back of the book, there are 71 uh, graph ruled memo pages. So you can you know, bullet journal or just uh, write down notes. If you want more pages, you can also look at the Weeks Mega, which has 215 graph ruled memo pages in the back, which is plenty of space to take notes or journal. So next up, let's look at what's called the Hobonichi Planner. And it's different from the Hobonichi original because unlike their Japanese um, lineup, the quotes at the bottom of each page is in English. I love the layout of this A6. Um, it's small enough to have enough room to journal every day and write down reflections, but it's not too big. And what I also found really cute are the little icons on each page to mark down the meals that you ate, if that's something that you track or not. This planner also includes a yearly index and calendar pages in the front of the book, which makes it really handy to um, jot down highlights. I found that this size really works if you journal every day but you don't write too much. Um, this A6 is a perfect size and as you can see um, it's not too chunky yet. So the one thing to note about the planner is that it doesn't include a weekly layout. It starts with a yearly index, it jumps into monthly calendar pages, and then the daily pages. And maybe that doesn't bother you and you don't need a weekly layout, but if you do, Hobonichi provides a supplement weekly book and it's super handy because all it has is a weekly layout. It slots right into your planner cover and um, each week takes up a two page spread. It includes three check boxes at the top so you can 
you know, write down daily to-dos, and it has a 24-hour timeline for each day. And so it's a great overview of um, every week if that's what you sort of need with your planner. And then we have the Hobonichi Day Free. This one is an A6. And if you watched my video where I talked about what I use my notebooks for this year, I talked about using this one for tracking my interests, specifically um, books that I've read, so when I started, finished, book reviews and notes, as well as plant tracking, because I'm a plant mom. So this book is perfect if you don't journal every day um, and you don't want any blank pages in your book, because it's undated, essentially day free. So the layout of the day free includes a yearly index in the front of the book, followed by two page monthly spreads for each month. And then it has 171 graph ruled um, memo pages, which you know you can use for journaling or note taking. Um, and what's unique to the day free are the little illustrations at the bottom of each page and so when you flip through the book um, the illustration um, moves and each year it's a different and unique illustration. So if you need more pages with your day free or you just want a separate reference book then Hobonichi does provide just a notebook. It has 240 pages of graph ruled paper. Every 60 pages is a different color of graph um, so you can section out um, different topics to include in your reference book. And it fits perfectly in the Hobonichi A6 cover with the day free. So you can have the day free slotted in the back and you can have the notebook slotted in the front and they fit perfectly together. So I mentioned at the beginning of the video that Hobonichi uses Tomoe River paper, which is really thin, but through manufacturing and coating of that paper, you can use different types of inks and not worry about it bleeding through. So if, for example, you're into stamping, um, the type of ink that I find works really well on this paper is the Versamagic chalk ink, which comes in this dewdrop format. Um, there are different colors that you can choose, um, they're very portable, and the ink itself is actually very vibrant, as you can see in um, the stamp that I stamped on the uh, weekly supplement. And on the other page, you can see that there is very minimal ghosting and no bleeding through. I also used um, Archer and Olive Acrylograph, which is a water-based acrylic paint pen, to draw these leaves on paper. And um, again, even though it's paint, you can see on the other side there's no bleeding through. Um, the paper handles paint really well. Very cool. I was impressed. So every year, Hobonichi releases an exclusive ballpoint pen that comes with certain planners and notebooks if you order directly from their online store. This year, the ballpoint pen came with black, blue, and red ink, and it's a great companion with their planners and notebooks because it doesn't skip and it writes really smoothly on the paper. I also like to use fountain pens when I'm journaling daily in my Hobonichi planners and journals, including this Twisby Echo, uh, the Coeco Sport, and the Pilot Metro, and I believe it's a retro crimson. So one book that I didn't try in 2021 and is very popular with Hobonichi is The Cousin which comes in A5, and the reason why I didn't try it is because it is larger and there are a lot more pages to fill up. So just to give you a size comparison, this is the A6 notebook on top of the A5 notebook. Um, so you can see how 
big, how much bigger the pages are in the E5 notebook and how much more um, you'd have to fill out. That being said, I think I am leaning towards trying the Cousin or the A5 Avec, which is essentially a two book set with six months in each book. But you'll have to wait until my I film my 2022 planner lineup video. And that's it for Hobonichi 2021 planners that I used for this year. I hope you found this content useful. If you did, please like and or subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!